We bout to play 2K Brutal Sim, Step Back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game, I'm going through the lane Russell Westbrook, quickness Tip taken by Spades, final seconds It's over, it's over Cleveland is a city of champions once again The Cavaliers are NBA champions What up, what up, what up it's your boy. <laughs> you don't know brutal Simon is seen with a next gameplay for y'all, man. But we're not talking about the gameplay today, y'all. Yo, the Cavs won in seven. The Cavs brought it back from one and three. Yo, I'm I'm sorry, man. You know I've been a King James fan for a minute, man, and. The amount of hate he gets is so unnecessary, man. Like, for a, as a basketball player, man, you understand that LeBron is probably one of the most unselfish teammates, superstars that ever played the game. And you can't, I really just don't understand why he gets all the hate, man. But from now on, I want to hear nothing, no hate, no challenges for the number one spot because he is clearly the best player in the league. He outplayed Steph Curry, man. Steph Curry didn't even shine. That was the NBA's golden boy, Steph Curry. All these bandwagon supporters just jumping on his, I'm not going to say it, man. And everyone just hating on LeBron. But I'm going to say this, man. The turning point was that game. What it was? Game 5 or game 4? When Green, he stepped over Green. And they start talking so much trash about him. Oh, they so disappointed. Oh, he soft. Oh, he got his feeling hurt. I was like, yeah. Y'all poke that beast, man. Y'all keep at it. Keep poking at that beast. I like LeBron when he plays, man. I like when he hears all that chitter chat about him not being the best no more and how Steph Curry is coming for that crown. I like it. That's all we need some motivation, man. That's athletes. We need that extra motivation, man. And I saw it happening. I saw it in front of my own eyes. I was like, <laughs> they don't know what they're doing, man. They don't know what they're doing. I saw Steph Curry's wife busting down these tweets. I saw it. I saw it all. And I was just waiting. I was like, yes, we need all the help we could get right now. Because to tell the truth, I was like, damn, yo. I was upset at the Cavs, man. How they played in that fourth game where they, they lost. You down two to one. And you lose at home because the next team is playing hard and getting on these rebounds. I'm like, yo, y'all don't want enough, man. But after Green, you know, make an attempt to hit LeBron in his balls again. Let 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 let's be frank, man. Let's be clear. Let's be honest. Green is a serial balls hitter, a serial balls grabber. I know what's he got a fascination with people's nuts or something. I don't know what's going on, man, but for people to make the argument that it's LeBron's fault that he gets suspended, it was like, yo, are you all kidding me, man? Like, everyone, the hate was real, man. Then, you got the beast, man. He came out consistent throughout the playoffs, throughout the finals, led both team in all statistical categories throughout the finals no one has ever done that in the history of this game then people out there talking about Kyrie should have won finals MVP how the hell are you gonna win finals MVP over someone that leads both team in all statistical categories that's the haters right there talking that shit they don't know basketball. They don't understand the game. This dude almost averaged a triple-double in the finals. I think he, that's going to be his next challenge, by the way. 
because he got that ability to score and assist his teammates and play defense how are you gonna say curry is the best player in the game when the Cavs beats golden state by running pick and roll and getting curry on the ball and killing him in fact the last shot kyrie hit was in steph curry's face because they ran a pick and roll to has to create an iso with curry how is he gonna be the best player in the league and he can't play defense and let me clear this up for y'all right now steals in basketball does not count and does not make you a great or even a good defender because usually the people that gets the most steals plays the worst defense because they cheat the play you know they tend to sneak out a lot and leave the guy alone so steals does not make you a good defender what makes you a good defender is your ability to stay in front of your man all right i'm just putting this out there for anyone that don't know basketball and always bring out the but he leads the league in steals bullshit no iverson always led the lead in steals man he led the league in steals a few times and he was never a good defender he was very aggressive on offense he was a great scorer but he was never a good defender just like steph curry is not a good defender all he does is run around and shoot threes which for the regular season that might work in the playoffs where everyone is desperate it won't work i'm sorry they won that championship the last year because lebron didn't have two of his main guys kyrie and kevin love which showed up kyrie showed up in this finals to prove that it would have been different if he was here kevin love showed up in the last game because he finally figured out what we wanted from him we didn't want him to score we want him to do what kevin love does and grab those rebounds but i'm out here man we won this ship i'm on top of the world congrats to lebron he fulfilled that promise that he went back congrats to cleveland congrats to what man just congrats man to all the supporters that been there king james we did again three rings man and i don't think he's finished man he's 31. he and jordan jordan got three when he was 31 man all right a lot of people talking like this dude oh this dude is still young man and look at his body he's built for this sport the hate will be real for a few more years the questions will be coming but people keep trying to compare him to jordan you can't because his passing game he naturally have a knack to find his teammates he makes everyone on his team better how can you hate and then want to put someone like steph curry who's the opposite you know he might get some assists but you better know he's looking for that long three ball way before he's looking to pass the ball well, LeBron, one downfall is that he's a pass first player, which all coach, like, listen to me, all coaches love the players like that, you know, but I mean, I guess you got to have the hate, man. You ain't doing nothing right if you don't have that hate, man. So I know a lot of people might get a little sensitive on this video, but it is what it is, man. Y'all could put something in the comments if y'all disagree with me, man. Let's let's chop it out in the comment section, man. I'm always ready for a good debate, and I never get offended like on like cer certain people, man. But it is what it is, y'all. It's your boy. I had to do this video. Right now, I'm I'm on top of the world, man. A, a bunch of my friends been some bandwagon supporters for the Golden State Warriors because they always hating. I'm gonna meet them soon. Don't worry about it. They ain't answering their, their tweets no more. They ain't on Facebook no more. A lot of people just go missing this time around, man. <laughs> it's your boy, man. Brutal Simon this year, we could have mean. One love, respect, 
bless you all know how it is man first time to my channel just man like the video share the video hit your boy subscribe y'all not the first time like the video share the video your boy see me done know bless up